And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. One of my favorite nationally known comedians is celebrating 30 years in the business, and we celebrate with Juan Villarreal. I can't believe it's been 30 years, and I'm grateful for it. I've learned a lot. I've met a lot of great people. I've got to do, you know what I mean, charity work and help people, and it's still, I'm still taking it all in. Like, today I woke up with a bunch of messages of people trying to you know, they're congratulating me and trying to uh, buy me dinner and stuff like that. And it just, it still, it, it, it still hasn't hit me, man. Like, it's still, I'm like, wow. And I got a bunch of messages from comics, which was really cool. Because, you know, for comics to, to give you that love and that props, that, that, that's, that means a whole lot to me. And, of course, we have some special guests. We're waiting on them to log on. Blaine, hey. what do you have to say to Juan hey. Villarreal? I'm going to get him on the phone. <laughs> I gotta say congratulations, man. You know, Juan is definitely a, a pioneer in the game, man. He's my brother from another mother. Anytime I talk to Juan with him being a veteran in the game, man, he always has uh, words of encouragement. And uh, we all know that this this comedy game is a is a marathon and definitely not a sprint. I actually just got a chance to perform with Juan uh, last weekend. Uh, Terry Grossman was doing his Netflix taping, so. I always get a chance to perform with my brother there and there out all throughout the state of Texas. We've been to Corpus Christi and abroad, just different places. I always see him logged on at the improv. So I want to say congratulations, Warren, man. I'm proud of you. Keep going. <laughs> man, uh, keep thank pushing. you, Blaine. You know what I mean? You getting the flowers while you're here, man. And I'm, at, I'm glad that I'm able to be a part of giving you your flowers while while you're here and still watching the work in progress. So, man, I want to say as a as a, a veteran myself, but as a super veteran, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to be you, part bro. of your special love day. You, you know, yeah. I, feel, I feel I love all you dudes. And also, one, we have a special guest to say hello to you, Willie D, the legendary Willie D of the Ghetto Boys. Legendary, what's up, what's man. up? What's up, Juan? <laughs> Man, what up, uh, Willie? How do you feel, man? I feel good, bro. I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. I, I, I'm nervous. Right. I'm excited. I feel like I deserve this. And then I feel like, no, I don't deserve a lot. Like, you know, there's a lot of emotions, Willie. Like, I, I can't control those thoughts. I'm trying to stay, you know what I mean? But it's just, like, I, yeah. I woke up today to a bunch of messages from a bunch of comics and promoters and club owners and stuff and congratulating me. And that kind of threw me like, wow. Like this, yeah. like, this is really a big deal, man. I feel like I'm just doing another show, but it's 30 years, man, so. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you make... know, it, it's a testament, man, to, to who you are as a person, as an individual. You know, your, your energy is infectious, man. And people just, people really do cut for you. I, I never really heard anybody say anything bad about you except your ex-girlfriend. But other than that, man, you know, everybody, <laughs> like, everybody she, cut she, for you. She was lying, bro. <laughs> she was lying, really. <laughs> Somebody nah, came in the wrong hey, place. Hey, man, nah, nah. You know, like, really, man, words can't really express, man, you know, like like how much, you know, gratitude I have for you, you know, as a comic. I'm a, you know, I'm a comedy con, so I know comedy. If I say you got it, you got it, you know. I don't yeah. pass out that type of... I don't t pass out those type of accolades easily. And I remember the first time that I heard you do your thing, I was like, he got it. That, that dude got it, you know? And uh, and you ain't never lost it. And that energy, I mean, you, it's the same type of energy that you had from day one, man. And, yeah. you know, ag again, it's a testament to, to the type of person you are, man. And that's why you're getting these blessings. That's why people are going out of their way to make sure that you know, that they, they extend that love to you, man, on your special days, letting you know, man, we appreciate you. Man, thank you, Willie. Man, I, I'm speechless, bro. I got Willie D on here. We've been boys <laughs> one time, man. Hey, Willie. And let me tell you, let me tell yeah. you how special Juan is, Isaiah. Juan has been embraced by the Black community overwhelmingly. You know what I mean? We've had embraced this Hispanic brother to come on Comic View. He's been with Set the Entertainer, Star and Lineup, and many other Black and urban programs. So it just shows to the testament that, you know, comedy sees no color and that, you know, it's it's a, a, a universal appeal that Juan has. And, you know, I'm just glad that he's a part of, from my home city, the state of, you know, Houston, 
and my state, Texas, won. Hey, man, congratulations again, man. You don't man. know what you are to the community and what you are to comedy in itself, man. So keep pushing, man. I'm so, so proud, man. Thank you. Man, thank you, brother. Yeah. No, no you know, problem, you know, I, I will, you, you know what? I, I would add that, that, that comedy just, just Comedy is a microcosm of society at large. And so society at large does see color. But the thing is that, like, at, past that color, can you get the job done? And in comedy, are you funny? And that's all we care about. That's all people yep. that look comedy care about is, are you funny? And yep. one there little rip. Boy, you funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, Juan, we yeah. want to wish you a happy 30th anniversary and for a job well done. We appreciate you, not just in Houston, but around the country. I remember seeing you for the first time on BET Comic View, and it just made me laugh. And to catch up with you and to see you're still working, still flourishing, happy anniversary to you, sir. Man, thank you so much, Isaiah. Hey, man, can I get one message to the comics, the young comics? Sure. Listen up, to all you comedians, you know, there's kind of like hate in this game, whatever. Don't ever do nothing to prove somebody. Like, I have never been inspired. I have never wrote a joke or pushed myself to get a hater to like me. A hater has never inspired me. So, because some comics are like, I'm going to show them. Watch, they hate me now. Watch, like, no, don't do that. I write, I work for the people that love and support me. That's it. So don't ever take that kind of energy and try to use it on stage. You know, I'm, I'm going to watch. I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them haters. And I'm don't ever do that. Show the people that support you and pay and love you. Show them how hard you want to work for them. All right, Juan, once again, happy anniversary. And thank you. And thank you, Willie D. And Blame the Comic for joining us for this celebration for Juan Villarreal. Oh, thank you all so much, man.